we make the world's best VSCA controllers in hardware. And there are four reasons why that is. The first one is you can get any form factor you like or need. And if you need an RCP to control your Sony robotic camera like this BRC X1000 4K robotic camera, then you can have it. So we don't just make PTC controllers with a joystick and all that usual stuff. We can also cram the functionality, the, the control of the camera down into a RCP form factor device. And that's what we'll look at in this video because it's so unique. But you can have any controller type that you want to control your camera. So there are three other reasons why we are so awesome. The, the other one is, or the second one is we know your camera. So actually this camera is known in the RCP. It will not just send generic VSCA commands, it will know the range of the iris, the range of the shutter speeds, the range of the, the gain, it will know what, what commands are supported and which not. So you'll find almost all supported commands in the control and none that are not supported. So the third reason is we can read information out of the camera. Well, it's not that we do something Sony didn't provide for us, but the important thing is that when we change a setting in the camera, it will be updated on our controller. We are not just pushing information out, we are also reading it back. Very important. In particular because with a camera like this, you can connect multiple controllers at the same time. So uh, you want to know if somebody changed the setting over here and it should be updated on your Skyhoy ICP. So you get that too. And finally, um, we can send uh, commands to many cameras at the same time. That's not the topic of today, but just imagine if you wanted to set the same white balance mode on multiple cameras, then you can just select all these cameras and then push a button and or turn it up and it will send commands to all of them. So let's get uh, into looking at this one. Um, we have the RCP right here. Normally we run it with Blackmagic cameras, but today we have hooked it up with uh, Iris uh, for the joystick here so we can adjust Iris on the robotic camera. And uh, I'm just gonna do a little thing here because I have the camera's output hooked up uh, with a monitor and um, I'm just gonna turn it over so it points at me. And then you'll see the feed from the camera coming onto the screen with the um, data screen from the menu. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this because when I pull uh, the handle here, you wanna see, if I go into exposure, you wanna see that these settings are actually updated and it's so clear to see when we have the on-screen menu shown. So that's the reason for that. All right, so um, let's get to it. And um, now I wanna move your attention from the joystick, which obviously works, and then to the top of the RCP. So in the top of the RCP, we find the nice large graphical OLED display. Then we have eight encoders, which each correspond to a tile in the display. So we'll now dive into the options that we have right here. I, I have also taken these six buttons and assigned them to select a work as a menu selector. So right now I am at the exposure menu. Then I have made a matrix. Uh, actually, this is still exposure and uh, the matrix had to fit in somewhere. So. Then we have all the matrix settings. We have also um, uh, gamma settings. Then we have knee settings and finally detail settings. So we'll uh, take a look at, at all these options. So right now we are in manual mode. So you see that I am able to adjust the iris with the handle. I can adjust the shutter speed right here. And as I said, these shutter speeds, they are reflecting uh, a reflection of the shutter speeds that are actually available on this camera. Uh, no more, no less. So that's pretty cool. All right, so if I go to something else than uh, manual mode, like auto mode, you see uh, we have AE speed and I can adjust the, um, uh, this, the AE speed right here. Um, I can adjust exposure compensation and if I do that, I have this option here. You can see all the time, the settings I see in the display are actually ref reflected on, on the uh, menu. And if I go here and I turn on and off, exposure compensation, just see how the control actually picks up this value. So I give you exactly what I just promised you, namely that we have full correspondence or, or duplex information exchange with the camera, which is really, really important. All right, so then um, if we go here, we can see we have backlight on off and uh, you see these options are still on the screen. We have max shutter speed. That's a feature of this camera. Uh, it's not on all VSCA cameras. Uh, and so forth. 
So we also have the, the matrix set to standard. Now I turn it off. And uh, I said on the next page here, we have all the matrix settings. So when I turned it off, you just don't see those settings anymore. But if I go here, you can now select uh, color gain, color hue, uh, RG, RB, all these di dimensions are easily adjusted uh, right now. So um, to see how that is reflected on the screen, we should go to the color menu. So uh, on this screen, yes, you can see um, uh, all these modes uh, are set up. And um, so we have color gain, color hue, and so forth, all these values. You're probably gonna trust me now. So if I move on, you can see I have gamma settings, so I need to go out to the next menu, whoops, and into the gamma settings. So I'm now in gamma settings. I set it to straight, that gives me a, a slightly a more uh, dark picture, which is good for the visibility of the settings on the uh, menu overlay. And then I have, uh, I can adjust, um, actually not offset, that has a small bug at this time. Um, all these settings, again, the settings, as I change them with the remote, or if I do it on the menu, you'll see it reflected just nicely as I change it, the one or the other way. So we have the, the full duplex of information. We have knee, so go to the knee setting. And you see now I turn uh, the knee setting on and then if i turn it to manual i'm now able to adjust the parameters and then finally we have the details menu Let's see details it's currently in auto mode so all these settings are not enabled until i turn it to manual mode and then we can now select and adjust all these detail uh, settings in this menu all right thanks for watching I think we'll see so many exciting features around Visca Camera um, for the rest of the year from us. Um, we are working on a lot of more models to integrate those and make them fully known by our controllers so that you can have the world's best Visca controllers in hardware from Skahoy.